next song is Frozen Walzer, which is a German song by Carl Reiner. Now, I'm not a German speaker, so when I heard and saw the title of the song, I pictured ice dancers skating on a frozen lake. But I'm afraid I had the wrong idea. This song is about cheerfulness. Frozen means cheerfulness. Here's a sampling of some of the translated words from the song. What's the use of complaining? The world is full of that. Sing a different tune. Do you suffer from pain? Don't let it get you down. Put a smile on your face. Two spoonfuls of joy and away with pain and sorrow. Well, may this frozen vaulter song help bring you all some increased cheerfulness. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs>
We always do an English language song in every program, and that comes now when we do the autumn leaves. Um, I read off the internet, this is the most important non-American standard song in the world. Now you might think, well, it's an American song. It has been recorded 1,400 times. A few of the people, Bing Crosby, Nat King Cole, Doris Day, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra, we have jazzy versions, Artie Shaw, Stan Getz, Duke Ellington, and Miles Davis. Well, I'm not going to recite the whole 1,400, but, but you get the idea. This was written in France first, and it was premiered in a movie in 1946 in France called Gates of the Night. Probably no one's ever heard of it. I certainly haven't. In 1950, it was uh, first recorded by Yves Bontan, and in that same year, Johnny Mercer wrote the English translation that we all know so well. And in that year, 1950, Joe Stafford was the first American to record it in English. Because it's a French song, we are going to have our crooner, John Palm, sing it in French first. And then we'll go into our choral arrangement in English. C'est une chanson qui nous ressemble. Toi, tu m'as aimé et je te mets. Les pas 
To close our November 20, Fest 2019, we will perform three German Christmas carols. All were composed in the 19th century by composers from Protestant parts of what was gradually becoming the nation of Germany. These carols have become part of the German Christmas time folk tradition and are well known in the German speaking world. If any of you grew up in a German household, you probably know every song. Um, the first song, Leise Riesel der Schnee, was composed by Edward Abel, a West Prussian poet, pastor, and composer. Our arrangement is by Deborah Krauss, who is the retired director of music at the St. John's United Church of Christ in Monroe, Wisconsin. The second song, probably the best known of the three, is Kling Glöchen Klingelingeling, and it is a children's Christmas carol. I thought it was a folk tune, but it turns out that the tune was composed by Benedict Wittmann, a music teacher, schoolmaster at Biggers, and composer from Frankfurt am Main. The lyrics are by Karl Enslin, a German writer also from Frankfurt and a friend of Benedict's. Our final song for this concert is O du Friedrichia, is a Christmas carol by Johannes Daniel Falk, a publisher and poet from Prussia. The melody is based upon, of all things, a Sicilian folk song. Deborah Krauss also arranged our rendition for this carol. <laughs> 